Hey guys. So today um, I have a setup and as you can see back there, there's a big 40 at the top and I have a flare that I want to put at the very, very top. Now the stakes that I use, they're like this um, and they're only 10 by 30. So they don't go tall enough. So I'm going to try to teach you what I do. Um, I'm, like I I'm said, I'm pretty sure there's probably a better way to do this, but this is what I do. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need four of your 10 by 30 H stakes. You need four of those. You're going to need these zip ties. You're going to need um, 10 of them. Okay. So this is what they look like out of the bag. Okay. You're going to need a box cutter, regular box cutter, and some duct tape. Okay. Um, and I recommend this kind, not the, not the clear, not the clear. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to stretch your four out. Okay. You have the four, right? Lay them down. And then you're just going to pull these three down to this ring right here. Then you're picking up the top two and you're going to pull them down to the next ring. Then you pick up the last one and you'll drag it down here. Okay. So your ladder, you should have one overlapping, one overlapping, one overlapping. All right. Then you're going to take your 10 zip ties and you're going to place them. This is the first, the first row. You're going to skip this one and you're going to put one right here and right here on the second ring. And then you're going to put one right here and right here on this ring. And then here and here and then you should have four left the four left you're going to put in this space here and wait no sorry this one you're going to put here here and then here and here and there may be an easy way to do this this is how i do it this is how i figured out how to get my letters up high and I know that I had um, some friends on the in the group that had reached out to me and asked how I did it. But I'm really always busy, guys. So um, it's not that I don't <laughs> want to get back to you. It's just it's just hard sometimes. Um, so I'm just going to shoot this video and hope this helps everybody. All right. So first, you're going to take the first zip tie. Okay. And you see, it doesn't really matter, but you see how this is like... Well, okay, we won't even go into it. All right, here, put one in here. All right, but I do have to show you this. This is the flat side. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let me try to turn it. Okay, there we go. This side that's closest to the actual stem, this flat side, this is the side that you're going to insert the end into. Okay, you don't want to do it this way okay not that way this way does that make sense okay very good all right so now we're gonna put this in when we're putting this in the flat side is closest to me so i'm gonna put this here and i'm gonna zip tie but i'm not gonna do it really really tight i'm pretty much just marking where i want them to be and then once i get them all on Then I'll go back and I'll, I'll really tighten everything up. All right. This is gonna change your life. It's gonna make it so much easier when you wanna get those really, um, the grand kind of look for your display or you really wanna show off a, a specific piece. This is gonna be great for that. And you can do these in any size and mix and match. Um, they have the ones that are, let's see, these are 30. I know they have like 24 inch. You can even put a 24 inch if you want to stagger, you know, your look. If you want to have something tall, then, you know, right up under it, you can do that as well. All right. Put this guy on.
Okay, so now that they're all on pretty loose, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna tighten everything up. And when I tighten them, doing the ones in the middle ring first, I take my thumb until you just can't hear any more clicks. Yeah. All right, so I do all of these first and then I go back and I do the ones that are on the side. Yes, Morgan. Okay, so so I don't make noise. Can I take a shower downstairs? No, you use your own bathroom. Well, upstairs you never. Make... No, you make me no. mine. I swear I will always fine. You always say that. You Please. Never do. Fine, go, fine. Sorry. All right, so we're just gonna keep tightening this up all the way down. Okay. All right, so now, now that these are all really tight, there we go. Okay, then we're gonna go back and do the sides. When you do the sides, um, let me bring this to you. When you do the sides, see how these parts, where are we? Yes, I'm trying to point to this area right here, these. Okay, so you see those? right there get that off for me there we go these right here right there in the center these pieces right here you want to make sure that all three of those pieces are inside your loose loop there like that okay before you start tightening um, because if one of them is out and you don't realize it you know like that you don't want that so just make sure that you have all three of them in before you start tightening all right Tighten these just as tight as you you can. I like using the heavy duty um, zip ties because when I build these, I don't want to have to replace them. And if you get the cheap ones, which I have those two, but I use them for other things now. These little ones, they could probably work, you know, because we're going to reinforce this with duct tape. So this could probably work, but I prefer the stronger ones. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our box cutter and we're gonna trim all of these down. But you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, we need to trim them off. These go in, but these do, because I can take those in. All right. Hey, you need to be tighter. And notice when I cut, I'm moving the blade, I mean, I'm moving the, the zip tie only because it's so, it, it's kind of tough. And if you slip and you know, I just feel safer just moving that and it's slipping and then it's just my hand versus the blade. But, you know, oh, I forgot one, two. Okay, so now those are all cut and everything. And so this is where we are right now, okay? So what we're going to do now is we still have some areas, bring this to you, that 
are of concern here okay I like to keep that closed keep that closed and you can reinforce this as much as you want you know with extra zip ties or what have you this is the amount that I use um, but I, all, I always uh, reinforce this and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the the duct tape and I'm gonna close all these together any place that they're loose I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that down okay so let's do that This takes a while, so I might speed this up. I could take over these little these little black parts here because they're sharp.
since you have your steak all the way up, can you zoom up, Morgan, so they can see all the way to the top? And then back down? Okay, so kind of focus right here because this is what we're going to show them. So this is the 40 right here, and this is the one we just did with the witch on top. Now, to keep these from swaying because they're so tall, I'm going to take a 10 by 30, and I'm going to stake that right next to these guys. And then push down, push down, just like that, okay? And then see how this one is back? So I would probably move this one back to just so that it's even with the one that I just done. All right, so now they're like this, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing. Well, thought I had another so one. So if you do that, we're gonna be in the roller. Pause so, it. Mom. As you can see, this is the 40 right here. And then this is the tall one that we just did, okay? But see how they're not like, they're not stable. So if it's windy, these things are gonna be blowing all over the place. So what I do, you're gonna need two more zip ties and then you're gonna need two more of the can you stay focused <laughs> my cameraman i swear hey, hey <laughs> pay attention okay all right all right so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of those and we're gonna stake them right next to the ones that are already down in the ground oh, oh come on <laughs> really simple struggle all right there we go struggle is real Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our zip tie and we're gonna need probably two additional zip ties. All right. I'll zip tie that there. And we'll take this one. zip tie that there. I'm going to go grab two zip ties super, super fast. <laughs> you better not be laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. All right. Let's take these ties. Hopefully they'll go in on the first push. Yeah. All right. And actually, we can probably zip tie this up here just to get rid of it. Okay. And then this one. All right. So, see, this is a lot sturdier. And you could probably even go with another one here if you wanted to, just depending on how windy it is where you are but that's pretty good um like i said if it's still too wobbly or your piece that's at the top is too heavy then you could put another stake here and then that would make it stronger all right so the only other thing left to do is to cut these little guys off and you're all set so hope that helps thanks for watching and remember if you see something you like hit the like button and subscribe thanks